Tucked away in the picturesque setting of the Lake District is the Damson Dean. Hello. A typical three-star holiday hotel. What name is it, please? Uh, Mr. Farnworth, Mr. and Mrs. Farnworth. It has a suave owner. I would say that we cater for Mondeo Man. We cater for the ordinary visitor. A creative chef. Hot enough. Would you want to dip your cock in it? <laughs> Me neither. That means it's hot enough. An ambitious manager. She I've got somebody waiting. I have given you the list. Yeah, but so Check those she rooms. Not... And like any quintessentially English hotel, the staff are mainly from Eastern Europe. So każde jebane wesele jest tak samo. They ordered some special bread for me. Rye bread. Rye. 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 No tea. Rye. rye. What is this rye bread? I don't know. Rye bread. Together, they cater for the great British public. This is nowhere near the like the room there in I have. Who come here for a break, bringing all their baggage with them. If you say that once more, Love right, you. it's over. That's it. Every day, these two worlds collide. Staff and guests. Room six are complaining about her this morning. With manager Wayne caught in the middle. Are you smoking outside? Absolutely. Right, come with me. Twit. Upstairs. Excuse me, there's somebody in our room using our shower. And downstairs. Either she has to go or I have to go. Hey, Moss. This is life in a British hotel. It's never been seen before. Kiss. <laughs> Checking in this week. Rusty. Not my satellite dish, you little bugger. A sandbag Tamworth bore with his owner, Farmer Higginson. She's showing a bit of an interest. She was always a bit fast, that one. Is she? Fast and loose. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Husband and wife songwriters, the Reynolds, come looking for inspiration. There's the studio. But it proves elusive. Stop it, please. Why do you do this? And there's disharmony behind the scenes when manager Wayne falls out with a key member of his team. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. I don't think I'm the problem. Forcing Jonathan to make a decision. It can only be resolved by one of them leaving the hotel. Now that you're gone, all that's left is a band of gold. All that's left are the dreams I hold. It's a band of gold. Be. If you were still here with me The busy summer season is coming to an end for the staff who live and work at the Dams and Dean. Toilet seat in room 14. Right. It's broken. <laughs> no, 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 I must... Just leave it. Which hand are you, you writing? This right? One, reckon, yes. So why are you putting... It's, it's second times when I catch you. People who are left-handed, yeah. they're putting cutters or pockets. What the f*** is that? My shoe was up. No, it isn't. <laughs> don't worry, Kirk, don't worry. Don't, don't, don't worry. worry, it's a bit thick. <laughs> Watch. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit thick, Goober. <laughs> What's that, quicksand? <laughs> Cooper soup. <laughs> when we booked, we were uh -huh. told that we could use your microwave to steam the baby's bottle. Oh, right. Is that still okay? It is. Um, where is it and can I use it or do we need to give it to a member of kitchen staff? Yes, if you give it to um, someone in... Will you? All right then, we'll take it. Do you know it. what power your microwave is? Mega. I can give you a list of things that I would love to change about the Dams and Dean. And it doesn't matter where you go, most managers can say, you know what, if I had a wand, I would change this, this, this for this place, and I would do that different, I would do that different. But you're only one man and you can only do so much. I think it's an 1800. 1800, oh God. I'll go and get mine. I'll go and get you my microwave. You can keep it in the room. 
Would you mind? I would live at the bottom of the garden. Yeah, yeah, yeah I'd do that. Would you mind? That would be fantastic. Yeah, and then you've got it then. I mean, yeah. No problem, I'll bring it up for you now. Yeah, I think I'm a very good hotel manager. It's the same routine getting up in the morning. I think if I was given the tools and the proper structure, then I think I'm excellent at it. Given the right tools. It's it's nothing like other manager positions that I've had. But I think there are certain parts of what I do that, you know, that help to bring people back. That lady did say room 10, didn't she? Yes. Shall I? Oh. A lot of people do come back because, you know, they've had a nice time because we've chatted and I've given them stuff and done everything and, you know, like with all of the other staff, you know. When? When? There is a woman in the toilet and she cannot go out and I can't help her. She's I won't be a there. second now. Yeah. Um, uh, don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, there is a manager, Wayne, and now she went somewhere to to find something to 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 help you. We are really, really sorry. <laughs> I've done the same, really. Now it's the manager, as I said. Okay, hold on a second. Don't touch the lock, okay? Can't get the bloody thing open, do where Rod is. Don't worry. Hello. Hello. Did we sit down be about at all? We need to ask at the reception. Yeah, Maybe he's still there the or this way? Farmer Higginson arrives at the Dams and Dean with a special delivery for hotel owner Jonathan. Can I help? Yeah, we've brought a pig. Wow. Mr. Danby. Is, he here Is it a live pig? Yes, yeah, oh. alive, yeah. Oh. Big pig. Phew. Big one. Yes, hello. Rusty is a stud boar. He's already fathered nine litters. He's come to service the sows who are reared for the hotel's kitchen. So, did he, did he leave any instructions? No, not at all. Can you get hold of him? I will try. Hi there, it's Marta. I've got a live pig deli being delivered and I have no idea what to do. Just <laughs> get the guitar out of the way. Phil and Marie Reynolds and their son Andrew have travelled from the Isle of Man to the Dams and Dean to look for inspiration. We're here for a week and we're hoping to get some songs together while we're here. Um, we're both in bands at home. I'm in a band called Postcode. The rest of it's not stuff we need to bring in now. Well, we'll get the studio as well and the laptop. But we'll, 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 do a separate, we'll do a second run. I know. That's what I'm saying this will do for now. But we've never sat down. Just the two of us tried to write together. So we thought it was about time we gave it a go, just, just to see if we could. Been travelling for five hours, but Dad Phil can't wait to get started. There's the studio. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is amazing, isn't it? <laughs> the others aren't so keen. Right. Right, we're going for a drink, we're not playing. No, we're just on a tuna. Should we go down? Hi. I'll, I'll be with you in a second. No, let's leave him in his little fantasy world. Oh, ho, ho. Look, girls, mm, daddy's come. That is one big pig. Look who's there, fly boy. Look, they're not bothered by him, by him being here, though, are they? Not yet, no, no. It's uh, quite placid. And the, the, and the, oh, hello. Yeah, he'll, he will shunt them about. Not my satellite dish, you little bugger. <laughs> There will be a bit of a... Argy-bargy. Argy-bargy. <laughs> Don't you be upset in my girls, you. No. Right. No, he's all right, but you just sort of always just be a little bit... You never trust any male species 100%, you know? Hotel owner Jonathan arrives to check on the progress of his new residence. 
I see the uh, the balls for creating merry havoc down there. He's kicking them all out. He's kicking all the piglets out. Bang! We're flying out. And has there been has there been any live sex action? I don't know. I didn't didn't spy any this morning. <laughs> She's not having any of it, is she? No, she's just a bit wary. She'll be all right. They'll say they'll soon settle down. You want to just keep an eye on them, just see if there's any signs of him getting these. You see, she's showing a bit of an interest. She was always a bit fast, that one. Is she? <laughs> fast and loose? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She always had a bit of a swagger in her walk, if yeah, you ask yeah. me. Yeah, yeah. This one is far more refined and ladylike. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, you have nothing to do you with You haven't that. even got to buy that one a drink. No. Right, well, we'll see what happens then, yeah, eh? Well, we will. <laughs> there are 20 staff at the Dams and Dean who are all managed by Wayne Hi. and his deputy, Marta. I've done the road to Marta. All right. Whoever you work with, wherever you work, there are certain people that you just click with and get on with. And there's certain people that you just don't click with or don't gel with for whatever reason. What happened with room 12? When, Sorry? What happened with room 12 last night? Our working relationship tends to fall into, you know, we say what we have to say and that's fine. When I've got a problem, you move to walkers to room one and they've got like 13, 15 year old children. Two children, yeah. Do you think it's, the room will be all right? Yeah, they'll, they'll, have be to be. they'll have to be. Mm. Mm. We've tried to contact them for the last four months. They haven't returned any calls, they haven't bothered, so. He thinks that's either his way or no way. He doesn't take no as the answer or let's do it this way, no. It has to be this way because I said so. That's the sentence I heard so many times during last year. He moved them this morning. So now we have to fit two teenagers and two adults in a room which is all nice for two people but not for four. Hello. Hello. Could I just have number five? Sure. Breakfast later. Yeah. Stay there. Well, we fed the pigs. Like uh, two buckets, so if you want to give them another one. So they need some later, will they? I don't mind people being ambitious and biting on my heels, but somebody who deliberately tries to sort of trip you up as GM or tries to undermine your authority in some way, then that will never work. Tak, bo ja jestem zagubiona. Potrzebuję housekeeping. Ja pierniczę. Ten namieszał z pokojami, że ja pierdolę i teraz będzie haja z tego. Ja... Hey, I've been awake since half four. I can sleep in the car. Because I didn't want to stay in bed, just like kicking in the car. Sleep... Songwriting yeah, couple sleep Marie and Phil Reynolds are staying in a family room. But only one of them is getting any sleep. My dad's snoring, that's been a bit of a problem because it's about keep, keeping my mum awake. So that's kind of put a sour face and everything. You are sleeping in the grounds tonight. Yeah. We need, we need sleep. I'm not. No, I feel like I woke up and I didn't really get back to sleep again. With Marie not feeling the creative urge, Phil decides some sightseeing might provide inspiration. Here we go. The Lakelands Animal Park in Dalton and Furness. Who was it? <laughs> Who was it? On the phone? Oh, she didn't see. So she said she needed to speak to you because you had initially been dealing with our wedding. Gemma Waterhouse. Bloody yes. Wayne. Remember that long email? He ignored her. Yes. Twice. He never came back to her. He never, he never answered And it. she doesn't want to talk to him anymore. She wants to see, and see me and only me now. <sighs> Yvonne. <laughs> I know. Why he's doing it? It was such a nice girl and such a big wedding, nice thing. Uh -huh. And he's just messing. Why? Well, it's my reputation as well because uh -huh. I took the building. I have few 
I take some responsibility for the situation arising. Uh, Marta originally joined us as the um, as a trainee manager several years ago. She has a lot of experience and she worked her way up. It's nothing in the diary. He's not putting it in the diary. It doesn't look like it's a wedding, but it's a wedding. Yes. How about here? You see, I took, I took the booking for lunch. Thanks God it's Sunday, not Saturday. Otherwise, you know, we wouldn't be able to do it. Big wedding and, and lunch at the same time. Mm -hmm. Nothing on the Saturday, no? She became eventually deputy manager of the hotel. And when the manager left, she became acting manager. But it's a role in which she wasn't fully comfortable. And I felt that the hotel was drifting, maybe sideways, maybe backwards, but I didn't want that to carry on, which is why I brought in Wayne. Jonathan, I took these weddings and mm. I was really in good relations with these couples. Mm. And then when, I don't know if he took too much on his, himself or mm. how. I just... had assumed rather naively that employing someone to effectively do Marta's job could be handled seamlessly. I was proved wrong. It will be sorted, yeah. but I just, I feel quite upset because he's okay. not saying even hi to me and replying. So it is really horrible atmosphere in oh here, dear. but, well, I will manage. Okay, um, so we'll deal with this problem tomorrow, okay. <laughs> Two of the staff have birthdays, so once everyone has knocked off for the night, they gather for a few drinks to celebrate. Wayne, you okay? Why yes, are you not darling. coming there? Oh, you're all enjoying yourselves, I can't. We are enjoying ourselves together. I know. Oh, come on, you stay here on your own drinking wine and we are all there. No, I was just doing Facebook because I'm knackered. Oh, great. All right, look, everybody's having a lovely time and I don't want to, you know. <laughs> oh, come on. But I don't want any atmosphere to change just because I walk in, so. No, it won't change. Yeah, it probably would, so. You're saying that because Marta is there? No, I, darling, can I just say, I haven't done no problem at all, so please don't worry about me in the slightest. You've got to figure out yet. Ah, oh, my arms. Okay. Gotta keep plugging at it. I know, but do you want to at least get that down? Get it down, yeah. Because I can listen to that to, to work out the rest of the um, verses. Yeah. It's all a bit of a, a mess, these lyrics, and I'm, I'm rewriting the whole yeah. layout of them and everything. Uh, He's drinking wine here alone. Why are you you're making, not coming you're, there? Stop, you're making out that I'm sort of some sad case. You know, I, had to, I wanted to check emails and catch up with my friend, that's all. And I don't want to go in there. What happened with your... With oh, your I know. Ah! <laughs> I'm sitting here with my bloody tickle clock hanging out. <laughs> but tell, let me tell you something. This is Can I just ask, why were you looking? I didn't tell humanity. Ah. Why was she looking? But I'm sorry. Because it's obvious. Oh, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, lucky you, it's so obvious. What the hell is happening? <laughs> God, can I embarrass myself anymore? <laughs> I think when I say coffee, it sounds like tea, because that's happened twice now. Maybe tomorrow if I see tea, I'll get coffee. You said you'd pour your own coffee anyway. So actually, he was listening to you more. I, I wanted to talk, get some coffee, because I didn't know they came and did it 
You said you'd call your own specifically. You actually use those words. Oh, stop it, please. Why do you do this? He's really smart, Ars. I know, and it's just very annoying. She said she will yeah. get coffee. Yeah. And she was complaining about the fact she didn't get one. She was complaining about the fact that they still poured her tea. That's what she was complaining about, dunk off. Well, this one's jerking housekeeping. Bierę babmata, babcita i jadę. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, nie mam ścierek. I don't know what you want. Do you know, you want these for housekeeping, do you? Housekeeping. I co, mam toalety mieć tym, tak? What does she want, Andrew? Apart from me having a nervous breakdown. No, no, no. Idę na dół, bo to się... I knew we were talking about different bloody things. So, for the ceremony, the rooms are separated. You've got the register table, more or less like as it is now, with the red carpet all the way through and the chairs facing this way. The hotel put their most senior staff in charge of weddings. Since Wayne's arrival and Marta's demotion, she only gets to do them when he's not on shift. I was doing for a long time absolutely everything, or almost everything in, the, in this hotel, a part of cooking. That's the only thing I don't think I would be able to do. Uh, the restaurant would be the room for the wedding breakfast. Do you think that Wayne respects your role here? No. And I don't want to talk about him. Hotel owner Jonathan has called a staff meeting. Is there a wedding on this week? Saturday. Saturday. And so my only observations are that I think we've got to be really careful about who's in charge at breakfast. I think we should make a special effort to have either you or Kate or someone senior mm. in charge, particularly on a Sunday morning, because everybody comes down to it mm. at the same time. Wayne, I forgot to mention last week, Marta's in charge of my flowers. No. And that's four people then, so something. No. Like I got promotion. <laughs> <laughs> Flower girl. Flower girl. How nice. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. Good. From the person who, who was responsible for absolutely everything, or a lot, at least a lot, to suddenly, well, you're being actually put on the side. You have no no place at all. Without actually a reason. It's, that's that's difficult. Now can we force you to have a dessert though? Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> have you not walked enough today? That's the thing. We haven't, we've been in no, the car all day. Yeah, where have you been well, today? <laughs> we've been to Edinburgh. But you were here this morning? Yeah. We Why went... did you go over there? It was a birthday treat to go to a specific shop for Andrew, and it was closed. They close on Mondays, we didn't know. 350 mile round trip, the sat-lab told us. Yeah. Well, that'd be a nice treat. It was a nice drive. <laughs> so. <laughs> so that's your birthday present gone now on petrol, you know that, don't you, eh? Well, <laughs> I said that to you, would that? <laughs> that, that is it. It's fantastic if you've got a manager who's working out front to give the customers that special attention. You know, it's like when you're on a cruise and you're invited to the captain's table, you know, people like to feel special about it, you know. So when the manager comes over and has a chat with you and takes time to ask about you, you know, people feel very special about it and don't underestimate the, the value of that because those people will keep coming back and coming back and coming back, you know, and, uh, uh, and you know you've made their holiday. You know you've made their holiday. 370 miles door to door. Only to find that it was shut on a Monday. <laughs> <laughs> How'd you look? That's cool planning. That's what I said. I said you didn't think to look. I think he could talk the hand like off a donkey. Probably. He could. Yeah. <laughs> he's, he's lovely. And then persuaded to go for a walk. He's absolutely. But uh, he's 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 been brilliant. Yeah. Ja gać mi się chce, jak ja przychodzę do domu, jestem tak poirytowana po szychcie. Jak sobie myślę, że następnego dnia znowu mam to samo przechodzić, po prostu mi się żygać chce. Is always motor all right? 
I never don't speak to him. No <laughs> idea. And I've now wiped my hands of it completely, you know. No way, we've got him in these fences. What's a good day for management meeting? Wednesday. Wednesday's fine. Is Wednesday good? Mm. She ought to be at our meeting. It's fine. Okay. But as long as you're aware of the situation, then, <laughs> then, then it's yeah. fine. You know, Jonathan, for the whole 12 months, I have tried to understand where she's come from and this, that, and the other. But, John, there's only so much that you have to do, and you just wipe your hands with them. For instance, a couple of weeks ago, she decided to alter the rotor. Because I didn't come in on a Friday night shift. Now, the fact that I was here all day, she decided to cross my name off the rotor. Okay? Now then, I know, and you know, and everybody, once that rotor goes to head office, if they see my name crossed oh. off, they probably think, oh, he's had a half-day holiday or something. Yeah, we would do, yeah. Okay? And she knows that. Mm. She knows it. D d do you understand? Mm -hmm. Knowing what that would mean. Because it killed her to think that I was getting something, or she thought or perceived that I was getting something for nothing. Because I wasn't here. All right? And I said, well, I don't mind you changing the rotor. That's not a problem. But change it properly. Right down on the rotor that I was here from seven in the morning until nine o'clock at night. I said, but you've done it because you're mean and vindictive. End of chat. Do you know what? That is not teamwork. You couldn't be further from it. Jonathan knows that Marta has a different version of this story, but relations between the two are worse than he thought. <laughs> you know, John, the fact that after everything that she does, we still invite her, you know, we, we, build, we build her up all the time. She signs herself the hotel manager. She's like, you know, it's, it's <laughs> not acceptable anywhere else. Just so unfortunate. I didn't think things were quite as bad as explained. She can't accept anybody else's ideas of change, you know, it has to be, you know. Um, right, so let's have this meeting on Wednesday morning. And you're happy for Marta to be there? No, I'm not happy for Marta, but why would I be happy for Marta to be there? But if you want her there, Jonathan, it's your business, you have her there. Well, she's your deputy manager, isn't No, she? she's not my, she doesn't act as my deputy manager, she doesn't act as anything. She does what she does herself. I believe that in Marta's eyes she is the manager, and you brought me here, and... No, um, in Marta's eyes she's not the manager. Oh, no. How can she be? Okay. How, how can she be? So, when it's really important that mm. Marta is there and that we do resolve this problem. Mm. I mean, mm. we absolutely have to mend the senses. No, 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 no. You know, one of two things will happen. Either she has to go or I have to go because this is an intolerable situation. It's completely intolerable. And your friends have been chopped up in the bloody kitchen. Hmm? Relations between Wayne and his deputy Marta are at an all-time low. Chudy! Nie zaprzyjaźniaj się z nią, bo... Nie? No widziałam właśnie. Jedna, nie? Wayne has told hotel owner Jonathan that he'll leave unless she goes. <laughs> Upstairs are Phil and Marie Reynolds. Did her I don't want she to leave today. Trying to forge a musical collaboration before the end of their holiday. The man is getting tired I don't. Want that to sway Times are always thin <laughs> I prefer the way you were singing before. Um, I mean, don't let me put you off improvising. 
Marta, can I borrow you for two minutes? Um, you've been so happy the last few days. <laughs> Why is that? What's changed in the last few days? Nothing, really. I just... He wasn't here so often. I love this place and really that would be the last thing actually leaving because I really like this place. I just think... I just... I can't... I don't know what would be the, the best solution, but... Well, I just trying to stop thinking about it and just focus on something else. Then okay. the problem. He keeps saying that he lives and works in hell. <laughs> if he's shouting at me, that's not a conversation and that's not a way of sorting problems for but me. But we can't let this carry on forever, can we, Marta? Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. Okay. I think in the end, Wayne is right. It can only be resolved by one of them leaving the hotel. Nothing has changed. Nothing has changed. In fact, it's better now because, you know, there isn't any communication, so that's fine, isn't it? I said, but the situation can't continue. Life's too short, isn't it, to put up with this nonsense? I've got sticky toffee to share. Oh, what sticky toffee? No, I don't want any Oh, come on, I've got two spoons. <laughs> I'm coming, hang on. Well, I... Oh, ah. Well, I'll put that down there and I'll eat this bit here. You eat that bit. Mm. Oi! <laughs> I love the Lake District and I would like to uh, remain here. But you know, even when you're the general manager, you still need to be motivated and you still need to continue your um, self-development. And if that investment in me continues, then I will be happy to stay. If I feel that I can get all of that somewhere else, then, and I'm not here, then I would have to think um, about a bin sticks and moving. Hello. How are you? I'm uh, tired, what do you think? It's eight o'clock in the morning, for God's sake. Normal people Yes, but I've been awake a little while, so I'm past <laughs> that stage, you see. See what's happening in the local world here, not a lot. The Damson Dean is one of four Lakeland hotels owned by Jonathan. Ooh. <laughs> Just noticed Jonathan's bit in here. I like the headline, Hotelier adds to his Lakeland empire. <laughs> Only more there, than one hotel could well, help no. Jonathan resolve the situation really. between Any Wayne and Marta. Can I borrow you, Wayne? Yes. Um, to talk about Marta. Actually, if you were to sit there, then Marta couldn't sit there. Are you ready to rumble? Sure. Yeah. Good. Now, I wanted to follow up our conversation about um, your relationship with Marta. Okay. Because I knew that there were problems, and mm -hmm. obviously for the last year we've been trying to solve those mm -hmm. problems, mm -hmm. and it's quite clear that we haven't done. You, you know that Charlie has left the Riverside, so a vacancy has arisen All right. for a deputy manager there, okay. which Marta has applied for. All right. And my feeling is that the best solution to the problem is to accept mm -hmm. Marta's application. You know, I think she really does love Damson Dean. <laughs> So it's a wrench for her, but we have to solve the problem. Which leads us to the question of what are we going to do? I mean, in terms of time scale, when can you afford to let her go? If she was needed to go. Yeah. Almost immediately. Good. Mm. Good. Problem solved. Yes. So, in that case, we'll advertise. They can't be younger than me, they can't <laughs> be taller, they can't be better looking, and they can't have more hair. Okay, so, so really we want somebody pretty good. Marta's close. ideal then, isn't she? <laughs> <laughs> yes, an interviewer. Okay. <laughs> Not just yet, I don't think so. Can we have a chat, Marta? Sure. 
Okay, I yeah. want to talk to you about the riverside. Mm -hmm. Okay, because I know that you love things here. Mm -hmm. But on the other hand, the riverside is doing a lot of weddings mm -hmm. now. So I'm going to offer you the job of deputy manager. Right. Is that good? Well, it is, yes. But is it uh, something you are thinking permanently? Or, as I mentioned before, if the things will change here, would it be possible to come back here? Are you thinking that if Wayne was to leave here, that you would come back here? Yes. OK. The answer to your question, Marta, is that, of course, we've got to look upon it as a permanent position. Mm -hmm. I can't have you just going to the riverside waiting for something to happen here, like in an Agatha Christie novel, that mm -hmm. Wayne will suddenly disappear off the face of the earth. It's not going to happen. Was Wayne trying to convince you that would be a great idea to remove me as no. well? No, no. Um, no, I just want to want to know because I don't think I'm the problem. Okay. It's not. It's not only m me fighting with with him. And You've got to bear in mind. Most of staff is not happy with 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 him. Actually, he is not the type of the. I person think that's your perception, work. Marta. You see, no, because I talk to people. Or they are coming mm. to me because mm. they don't have anybody else to talk to. Mm. But Marta, what you must understand is that. Because of your really strong feelings about Wayne, it must have an unsettling effect on everybody else. I mean, not well, only I'm not, unsettling um, effect. I stopped talking about him uh, okay. to anybody but else. I just not only erased him from, again, I'm focused on my duties and whatever is my responsibility to make sure yeah. that is, at least this one is done properly. Marta, you've and got to understand that th I support Wayne. And I see him on the management meeting, and I just, I have to bite my tongue. I said, okay. for God's sake, open Marta. eyes, because that's not the guy we have every day. Okay. Marta, your description of Wayne isn't the Wayne that I know. Okay. But there are other people, and I, I like these people. I work with them for three years. Okay. And I can't Marta, see the that they will stay here with, with this, uh, the same problem, with nobody okay. who Marta, will actually have the please. courage to tell you. You're going to the riverside now, so as far as you're concerned, the problem is solved, isn't it? I understand how you feel, and I know you feel really, really strongly about it, which is, which is the reason that you applied for the job at the riverside, yes. Marta, and the reason that I've decided to accept your application you. there. So. Thank you. I know you had another choice and I thank you that you decided to keep me in the company. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Marta. <laughs> Please don't be upset anymore. I'll speak to Helen and we'll arrange for you to transfer as soon as we can. That would be great. Okay. Thank you. And I think we should have a little bit of a... Shall we have a celebration too? Of me living here? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I don't mean that. <laughs> Is it again I mean... a wedding's idea? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Big party that I'm living. Deirdre Adults Want you to leave today and Times are always hard But it works out When we need it to Swallow your pride Hold your head high And walk tall That's all sorted now. I've spoken to Marta. Oh, good. And she has agreed to the transfer. Oh, lovely. Yes. I would have loved Marta to have stayed with me and to work with me and, uh, and become part of a very progressive team at the Dams and Dean. Marta has decided that she's not able to do that and therefore I think Marta has been extremely lucky that, she, that we found her another position. Ultimately, no, I think she would have preferred to have stayed, but I think she would have preferred if I'd have gone. I don't think it would ever work. So I think actually considering the other position, other hotels would be the only option for me. And there is a chance now at our sister hotel in Riverside. It's a busy hotel, so I think at this moment there is a chance for me. Now look, uh, the Hoover in the restaurant, I don't know whose it is, but I fixed it. Oh, thank you, that's great. 
Will I get a dustpan and brush in the kitchen somewhere? A dustpan and brush? Yeah, just um, ask Kuba. Okay. Calm has been restored at the Dams and Dean. And Wayne retains his position of general manager. I'm one of the staff, you know, so I can tend to put my guard down and relax and laugh and joke with them. What's this new look you? I don't, don't, what are you doing? Is she finishing with a boyfriend? Is she finding a new man? The same man, he just fancies someone different. So he's made you two. Yeah? Pushed. Aye. <laughs> and I love that banter with them. I love that, you know. And not in a, a cruel, nasty way, you know. I'm the one who's bald and short and fat, you know. I mean, at, at the end of the day. Where's her trousers? Black trousers. And if you check which you had me fish and nothing. What? Where is Holly? She looks like she's going to the beach. Look at her. Mm. 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 Pojedziemy razem tą, tym kabrioletem jego. She will invite you and you will go together with her on the beach. I'm thinking that will never happen, but hey, you dream, dream it. It's nice for old ladies to have fantasies <laughs> about young men. <laughs> so what's it like working with Wayne? Huh. It must be hard for a lady. <laughs> Uważam, że jest bardzo dobrym menadżerem. Czasem Jest zbyt nerwowy, ale niektórzy biorą to bardzo poważnie. My jesteśmy, tak jak powiedziałam już wcześniej, mamy prawie tyle samo lat, co mamy. Ja traktuję go jako kolegę. Nie mam przed nim respektu. Mam troszkę, ale nie aż tak. Ale ty jesteś zarozumiały. Powiedz mu, że jest zarozumiały. Nie wiem, jak to się mówi. Zadufany. Nie wiem. Don't. Czy ci nie skupi pakłać? Zatrofani. That's backward, isn't it? No, zatrofani. Yes, no, zarozumiały. I would have all members of staff like Gosha. I think we'd have a fabulous working relationship. If I didn't understand them and they didn't understand me, I think it'd be great. <laughs> you know, and I could shout, they could shout, and we just smile at each other at the end and leave. Hi. <laughs> Are you ready to order? Uh, yeah, can I have a soup to start, please? Yes, of course. What's terrine? <laughs> it's like a gelatin. Oh, in that case, I'll have the soup, please. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't convince you. <laughs> well, you did, but the other way. It's the last day of the Reynolds holiday, yes. and Phil like and Marie have managed to get a song in the can. We did. We got. We actually managed to. We we'd done earlier in the week. We'd done a few bits and um, got some basic ideas down. But yesterday we actually managed to write. A, well, not if I was going to say a full song. I've still got another. I've still got another yeah. verse to write. But we've got. I've got a lot of the lyrics and we've got the vocal line. Have you had a nice time this week? Yeah, enjoyed it. And we liked the hotel. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, it seems we can actually do it. So here yeah. we are. We weren't sure whether we'd be able to write together. And even earlier in the week, it was, I wasn't sure. No, I it's still... Oh, I don't think this is going to work. But then we thought, right, we'll give it a go on Thursday. And, yeah, it's, it came together. Really, I think you really just can't well. force it, can you? No. But it just... Uh, he just started noodling something on the guitar. I was like, oh, oh, hang on. Oh, I think I... Wait a sec. And I just started writing and, yeah. Is it Nina? Yes, I'm going to go. You're a jaba, Kala. You're... You're a jaba. It's not a jaba. What the jaba is? Nie topesz. Trzeba kogoś zawołać. To nie po majka. Nie topesz chyba. Jest majk. He's just gone outside. That way, Gosha. Mike! No? Was. Oh, Dziecko, 
Nej, det är inte som att det ska vara där. Han tyckte att han fortsatt att han ville ha aktier. Jänki. In the middle of nowhere. English. Welsh. Polish. Romanian. They work together, we eat together, you know. Basically, it doesn't matter where we're from, we're all pretty much the same. We all pretty much want the same kind of things, you know. It was a Polish disco yesterday. Polish party. You are joking me. No. It's a bit miserable music, isn't it? Polish. <laughs> what about Welsh? Oh, it's happy and jolly. We talk about lava bread and trips to the seaside in Bangor and that. This music is like Polish folk music, isn't it? No. You know, like in some villages in Poland where you celebrate the potato. <laughs> Or you have like a party for beetroot. <laughs> the nationalities can change so quickly. And what I love about that is, you know, the, the different cultures and the different um, conversations that come around the table. And you know, I to be polite, like this is what you didn't have to do. I'm going to be a monkey. So, what's that? That's lovely, that sausage meat. the end of Wayne's first summer in charge of the Dams and Doom. It's great, I love the industry. I've been in it now for 20 plus years. I like it because it's never the same. And I once met a family that told me they could see dead people. They then went on to say that they felt that I had the gift. They asked me if I wanted them to show me how I could speak to and see dead people. Why would I want to do that? I'm a hotel manager. I have enough of a problem with the live-in. 